first things first. Let's get the big thing out of the way. Best pickup of the uh, of the past few months, I guess. It, it's been a long time since I made a video, but those will start coming up more and more now that we can collect again. Green N64, jungle green, with the expansion pack. All the doors are there. Great pickup. That came in a bundle for $120. The bundles paid off. There was a smoke gray controller and a few other items. Unfortunately, I got rid of the smoke gray controller to pay for a lot of it, but, or smoke black, I should say, not smoke gray. In that bundle, we also got Mario Kart 64 for the N64, obviously. Great title, must have title for the N64. Unfortunately, it's a player's choice, but I'm gonna take what I can get. As well in that bundle, we got a, a very neat and hard to get item. It's a Donkey Kong 64 controller with the little banana tufts on the end. Admittedly, this one's not in the best condition, but it's just such an obscure item, I had to keep it. Also in that bundle, we got a jungle green controller to match this console. Great controller and f for essentially free at this point. Who's going to complain? Thrift store pickup of the past few months. Three of these atomic purple controllers. Actually two of them. One of them came with that bundle. Two of them I got rid of the uh, the Joysticks weren't as ideal as I'd like, but got about twenty dollars a piece for those. Helps pay for the bundle. More than covers the two atomic purples that I bought at the thrift store, a value village nearby, for uh, four dollars a piece. So that was a good deal. Now the fourth and final controller I got in the past little bit is this one. Now tell me in the comments what this thing is. I've heard it's a Mario Kart controller that was exclusive to Japan, but I kind of doubt that. It might just be one that someone put together. But it's got a black plug, and it's black on top and gray on the bottom. So it might just be a, a replica of a Mario Kart controller. But let me know if you know. Just an obscure little thing that we also got in the past few months for N64. A, uh, a rumble pack. Didn't have one of those, great great to have. Finally, let's get to the games. We've already got Mario Kart 64, but the other games we picked up, Star Fox 64. Zelda Ocarina of Time, had some store cut at a local game store that I used for that. Donkey Kong 64 with the jumper pack cost me about $30. It was, I wanted to play the game, I, and I just hadn't found it yet, so I ended up buying it at a, uh, a used game store. Got a good deal though. Uh, Super Mario 64, second copy actually in the, the past few months, uh, exchanged this one for my other copy, which was a player's choice, and this one's just a lot better. Also picked up Diddy Kong Racing, great, great game for my childhood, also a player's choice, and then we've also got Banjo-Kazooie. Most of these games were free to me after selling a few things that I bought. Um... Uh, like I said, Donkey Kong and Zelda, they cost me a little bit, but I guess you got to pay to play, you know?